Hey guys, I'm out in Henry County in McDonough. Giving you a video tour because uh, we're down here. A client, ooh, I think for the last seven, maybe up to eight months now, has been building their house down here. And we just did an orientation. So while I was down here, I want to give you a video tour of a couple of these. And um, some of the standing inventory is starting to come on the market now. They're starting to release them. So if you like what you see, let me know. Got an amazing location here, very, very close to um, the area schools, which are top rated. There's a Dunkin' Donuts right around the corner, a shopping center for your grocery store. Everyday needs. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful homes out here. So you got the covered front porch. Now this won't be, you know, we'll be able to see some of the features, but you can see it's obviously under construction. Well, you want to close probably in some of these within like 60 days. And I'm taping this in June of 2022, so possibly get in right around when school starts, um, or just right after, might be a great opportunity for you. Big oversized columns, stone, excuse me, brick, water table, and then brick all the way in this covered area. It makes it look really, really nice. You got the ring doorbell. And let's walk through, take a little tour. So one thing you first notice when you come in this beautiful like foyer area the nice light fixture here you notice crown molding the details the squared off entrance ways so first time i'm looking at it i'm going to give you my honest thoughts and how, what i would do and layouts and stuff like that over here is kind of a smaller room great backdrop like if you put your desk in the middle of the room do some kind of cabinet build out over here killer killer home office you could also do a really small Kind of like cocktail room, wine room, very, very much on trend. You know, add like a couple, um, like one big barn door, two smaller barn doors here. And it could be a really chic, do a nice light fixture in here. Even though this one's already pretty nice. Got the double windows. And across from it, you have your dining. So you have the crown molding on the baseboards at the bottom. You have the uh, the pendant, uh, excuse me, chandelier light, double windows here overlooking that front deck uh, porch, which will look great with a couple rocking chairs. Do a circular or farmer's table here. Looks like they're staining the steps. Wow, huge double story family room. This is what our clients built this floor plan on a basement. Tremendous, but depending on your money situation, it's probably gonna be the fives. You're gonna have this, it's like some beautiful trees out there as well. But what a backdrop, right? This to me, people spend over a million dollars for views like this. You know, you don't have to put a lot of artwork in here because this is the art right there. The backdrop, show you from different angles. See shiplap up the wall, got your. I love the, the wood uh, mantle as well. As you can see, the catwalk, they got to stain the banister up there, but just a very, very nice and dramatic room. Then you have this beautiful kitchenette. Again, you can put a nice long table here. Could fit four bar stools, no problem. Mm, very nice. Maybe like a quartz material looks like to me. With the little accented grays. Like this... Um, I don't know what they call it, but it's like almost like a honeycomb kind of look to it with glaze on it. Farmer's sink, dishwasher, four or five burner gas cooktop. It is electric and gas community. Your vent hood would be stainless steel or wood. <coughs> Excuse me, the sawdust is killing me. Pantry. Now this is a pantry. I mean, they have racks, 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 racks for your... Um, cereals and stuff like that, microwave, stove, and then this view, right? I love the kind of like archway look here to give you entrance from here, entrance from here, your two car garage. Gonna have a half bath, so you have a nice pedestal sink that will go in there, your toilet. You can always do a build out, like a little bench, and this area will look really nice. Um, I think the sprinkler system is going on here, so let's see if I could just peek out real quick. I think it's going around one more time. But you can see 
covered. That, ooh, let me stand here. You can see they're building the house next door, but beautiful covered deck. A nice size backyard too. Nobody gonna be able to build behind you in this beautiful tree back here. So it's gonna be great to fence this in, like a little fire pit in that corner and can do something up this hill if you want to as well. Can enclose it like that house next door did after the fact if you want to as well. All right, so we saw kind of a home office area. Saw the dining room, a huge dramatic two-story family room, kitchen. Look at the size of this bedroom down here. Beautiful, you could do a king size bed. <clears throat> Dresser, flat screen TV, like a little window seat, like a wing back chair would look great. Got the rev wood in here, cultured marble, got the sink, there'll be a mirror there. Tiled shower, which is nice, tub shower. So I love a bedroom that has its own bath. It's always a nice plus. That's where your um, internet high speed and all, um, your alarm system. But also there'll be a rack in there for coat closet. All right, bedroom number two. Gorgeous, double windows, double door closet. Views, right? Such a family friendly, just it's, it really fits any demographic. If you have newborns all the way to retirement age, you have some great features. The community that has a lake in it as well, and this great school system. You're gonna have, I believe, a Jack and Jill bathroom here. So you have two bedrooms that connect. So you have the double vanity sinks. Privacy though. Kids or your guests are washing their face, brushing their teeth. You have another door here. And you can see the tiled tub shower, Revwood toilet. Bedroom three. Again, those double windows, I'm telling you. I love, love, love windows. You can put your like, nice little flat screen TV here, or you can put your bed under these windows if you want. Do TV here. A little chair in the corner if you want. Stand up dresser. Walk in closet with window. Love a window. In the closet, you don't have to flick that switch on every time, you know. Hall closet, we have wire racks. Full bath over here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, I love the little niche here. Shampoo, soap underneath. Spar soap. Window again. So your tub shower, cultured marble with the white cabinets. There'll be a mirror over here. Bedroom number four. Again, a really nice size. Kind of matches the one downstairs. So you could do a king or queen. Dresser, flat screen TV. I love a, you know me, I love a window seat right there because again, your views. I mean, amazing, you know, you fence all that in. School right around the corner. Perfect. Dramatics, right? So this is gonna be stained to match the floor colors. Here we go. I don't know many people. We, you know, have people hit us up all the time. We've helped thousands of people throughout our career. Not too many people that do not want, <laughs> if they can afford it, a two-story family room. And this gives you the dramatics with the shiplap up the wall. Again, gas fireplace. Not all you gotta do is flick on a switch. Six big windows, the catwalk. Look at the size of this washroom. It goes all the way to the length. You even have a closet in there for your um, laundry detergents and stuff like that. They would give you a wire rack over there too, but dryer, washing machine. This is where you can put your laundry baskets. And then your primary bedroom. Just so, so nice. You got the double windows here, a whole wall to work with. So two ways you can do it. Excuse me, it was a Coke can down there. Got your ceiling fan, where you could put your bed between these two windows, put your flat screen TV there, put a nice long couch along here, build out a bar area if you want, or do another couple chairs, a little table in between, or you can do the bed here. Got the USB outlet, so we'll be charging your phone at night. 
on both ends. Put your bed here. At the end of the bed, you could put your love seat, a little coffee table in front if you want, flat screen TV. You could build out, again, a coffee bar, a wine bar with a wine rack. I mean, you could just, you could kill it, you know, go both ways. Got another wall to work with over here. And then a nice long, long bathroom. This will have frameless glass around it, all this tile again, the area for your shampoos and soaps. Imagine all glass, all this tile, a nice deep soaking tub too. You have blinds on here as well. All the space, right? All the couples out there, stay on your side, right? You got all that space in the middle. Everybody has their area. Got your cabinets right here. Got your toilet closet. But one of my favorite features of this one is people ask, what's the closet like, right? It's because lights in here. No, nope, the lights in here. But for most people, you know, they're coming from apartment. They're coming from, we've had people come from Manhattan. They say, oh my God, this closet size is amazing. Like, I only have like a little, one little door in mine. Well, how about this? Oh yeah, it basically goes all over the garage. So you have a window in here, you have your wire racks, but could you imagine having all those cabinets lit up with the glass at the top, hanging all your suit jackets and your dresses all around here, all the way to the other end. You might ask, well, what's this door? Your laundry room. How convenient, right? Hey, we all have to do laundry. Bring in your laundry right through here, dump them through your laundry baskets, your whites, your colors, your um, bed sheets and your comforters and your regular clothes. I mean, however you wanna do, you got plenty, plenty of space over here if you wanna add cabinets after the fact. And right back into your closet, right to your bathroom, with the soaking tub, the frameless glass, the marble, cultured marble, and back to the king size bedroom. So this is gonna be in the fives, guys. If you followed us for a while, if you're just discovering our videos, I'm Mark doing the Hey Guys tours, what I'm known for, providing you some of the best resale and new home communities in greater Atlanta. You see this video, you like it, you like what you hear, you like who's doing it, you follow our page. We're real estate, boutique real estate firm here in greater Atlanta free services to all of our clients. All we ask for is you to be pre-approved or be willing to go for your pre-approval. <coughs> Sign a buyer brokerage agreement that lets us represent you. Again, no cost to you. Come for a tour of the community or the home that you see in one of my tours. Go under contract. We handle all contract, reviewing it, negotiations, all that good stuff help you with home inspectors and closing attorneys and everything along the way. You get the what's in the bag, our famous housewarming gift at closing, and then you are welcomed into the Great Homes ATL family for life. You'll never have to search for another real estate brokerage firm. You are officially a family member and um, we get together, check-ins, Family barbecues, housewarmings, holidays, all that stuff. Doing something different here in Greater Atlanta that people really enjoy being a part of. So hopefully you will join us after you see this video and start the process. We have mortgage consultations with our lender. We have paid consultations with us if you don't even know anything about how to buy a home. And we also have free consultations for anybody that's pre-approved or goes through the pre-approval. All right, guys, I'm heading out. Great orientation with our clients. Hopefully you could be one of their neighbors. And we'll catch up with you soon.